hi guys welcome back once again to my youtube channel this is the scholarship update edition on my channel and as i always do we discuss scholarship application prospect for international students around the world if today happens to be your first time visiting my channel you are most welcome consider to subscribe to join this channel to all my amazing returning subscribers thank you for your continued support Today's edition is a very special one. We are going to discuss the top tips to scholarship application in any country of your choice, in any institution of your choice, to any program of your choice. So if you are ready, sit back, relax, grab your pen and your notebooks and let's get started. Hi guys, you are most welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, today's edition is a very special one. We are going to discuss the top tips to scholarship application abroad. This is based on popular requests from my viewers on how to apply for scholarship abroad and what are the necessary documents needed to apply for scholarship. So first of all, you have to look out for your country of interest. You search for a university available in those countries, prepare your application document, begin your application and then wait patiently for an outcome now let's dive into it so your country of interest we have seven continents in the world now you can search for the country in any continent of your choice so we have europe north america south america asia australia and africa so based on your interest you can search for the country that you want to study for example if you want to study in european countries Talking of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Ireland, among others, you can use this country as your point of reference in searching for the university available. So after you are able to figure out which country you want to study in, you can now move on to search for the university available. So after finding out the universities available in these countries, you have to decide what type of studies you do want to do. So we have undergraduate studies postgraduate studies or you want to do a research studies now after getting access to the university finding out about the undergraduate studies postgraduate or research studies now what are the study field available that you want to pursue for example we have art and design architecture art humanity social sciences we have business education engineering information technology law medicine nursing and health sciences pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences so these are the available study field that you can choose from and every study field has their respective course or program available for both undergraduate studies or postgraduate or research studies the next thing that you have to do is to prepare your application document so these are the checklist first on the list is your certificate or your diploma if you are a secondary school graduate or you are high school graduate, you have to prepare your certificate or your diploma. If you are a bachelor degree holder, you will be given your certificate after your graduation. The next thing is your transcript of records. So the transcript of records can be requested from your respective institutions. Recommendation letters. Most of the time, some universities will not request for recommendation letters. Some also request for it when you are applying for university admission or scholarship. So kindly take note to look out for the requested requirement from the respective university's website. You have to prepare your CV. So your CV should have your personal information, your educational background, and also all the relevant information about your work experience. Then, you have to prepare your personal statement of purpose. Some universities may request for it, others too may not request for it when you are applying for admission or scholarship. So, prepare your statement of purpose and state why you want to study a specific program and what a specific program can do for you after your graduation and how you are going to contribute to your nation's development when given the access to a scholarship package within the university. Next is the English proficiency certificate. So, you have a lot of ways that you can prove your English proficiency. 
Some universities may request for specific English proficiency certificate, for example, IELTS or TOEFL. Some universities also may request of you to provide English proficiency certificate from your previous university. The next thing that you have to take care of is your publication or any other achievement. This is relative to individuals who want to apply for postgraduate studies, either master's degree or a PhD or research studies. So if you have any publications, you can attach it to your university application and scholarship application as well. And finally, you should have your national ID card or your passport. You cannot apply for university outside your country without not having your passport or your national ID card. They will request for this specific document when you want to apply for a scholarship. So after gathering all this relevant information about your application document, the next thing you have to do is to start your application. So how do you start your application? On each university's website, you'll be given the chance to create an application account. So you create an application account with your email address and also you create a password. So you log into the respective university application account. You fill in your information. So the request for all your personal information, your name, your email address, your address where you are located and also your country of origin. And then you upload all your necessary application document. When you are done uploading all your application document, please make sure to cross check that every information that you filled on the respective application account is relative to the personal document that you have. So you have to cross check for your name, your email address and every information that you provided on the application account so that it doesn't affect you when you are given admission and you have to process for your visa. So when you are done cross-checking every information provided during your application, the next thing you have to do is to pay an application fee. Application fees sometimes may be requested from some universities, others too may not request for application fee. If the university requests of you to pay an application fee, they will provide an account of which you are going to pay the application fee. Application fee differs from countries to countries and also from universities to universities. So kindly do check it out on the respective university's application account if you are requested to pay. After payment of your application fee and you submitted the application, a feedback will be sent to your email, the email address that you provided during your application. So make sure to provide the correct details when you are making your application. So the final stage is for you to wait for the outcome and results of the scholarship application. Regular check your email inbox for an update from the university. So make sure to provide the correct email address when you are filling your application and be positive minded. This is the stage that most students become much more anxious. I understand how it feels when you have not received any information from the university. But please be positive minded and pray about your application. Sometimes also you have to try like three or four times for you to get access to a scholarship opportunity. So please kindly embrace yourself with any result that comes as a result of your application. I hope this information provided today is very useful. So this brings us to the end of another episode on scholarship updates. Congratulations to anyone out there who has gotten a chance for a scholarship in any university across the world. To anyone who is also trying as much as possible to earn a scholarship offer, please don't give up. Continue to work hard on your applications and there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you so much for your time today. Please do well to subscribe and share with your friends. Until we meet again next time, please take good care of yourself and be good. Bye for now.